Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation section to learn all about Divi's header and navigation options. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to customize and configure the, both the settings and the structure of your Divi headers and navigation. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the header and navigation options within the theme customizer. Now Divi comes with some great options for customizing your header and navigation area. Uh, it's such an important aspect of your site uh, that using these combinations, you can create some, you know, really unique results and designs uh, for the many different kinds of websites you may be building. Uh, to find your header and navigation options, first you would go from your WordPress dashboard uh, to your theme customizer. You would uh, go to your left sidebar here, hover over Divi and find your theme customizer. And once you go to your theme customizer, you should uh, see a list of options that looks like this. And the second one here uh, under general settings is your header and navigation. That's the one where we're going to be looking at right now. So once I click on header and navigation, uh, you can see a list of options available to us and they are extensive actually, which is gonna be very helpful for you when you're trying to fine tune your header. The first one up here is the header format. Now this is your high level main structure of your header. And in there you can see that the, there are some styles available to you. There's five different styles. Uh, one is the default, which you see here. Um, there's also a centered style which as you can see puts the logo above centered above a centered navigation menu um, you also have the op option of putting that logo in line and centered uh, this doesn't look quite right because I don't have uh, an even number of menu items if I were to have six I would have three on each side so that would have balanced out my navigation menu and that would put my logo more in the center, which would look a lot better. Uh, there's a slide in. Uh, maybe you wanna completely hide your menu items uh, from the start and only deploy them uh, by toggling a slide in menu. And this would be triggered using the nav uh, menu, excuse me, hamburger navigation icon here to deploy your menu. If I click it, you can see that nice little slide in effect to show my menu with a search bar at the top of it. And then to close it, I just click the X and that would, you know, a good way to toggle your menu. And the last header style we have available is the full screen, which like the slide in is toggled open and closed using the hamburger nav icon here. Uh, if I click on that, you'll see that it deploys my navigation menu in a full screen layout. And I will close it using the X at the top. Um, as you can see, uh, some of these header formats, if I have them selected, will uh, hide some of the options underneath. For instance, if I have my default um, header style selected, you, you can see that I have the ability to enable vertical navigation. Um, something that wouldn't be available um, if I have a full screen because uh, it's hidden anyway uh, from the beginning so you wouldn't have that option but let's go back to our header style default um, and let's click uh, enable vertical navigation and you can see by the click of a button you can have a completely new header style um, with a vertical uh, left aligned navigation as you scroll through your site there. You can also change it to uh, deploy in the right side of your page if you want as well. Let's go ahead and go back to our defaults. And let's go one level back to our uh, header and navigation options again. And the next group of settings is my uh, primary menu bar settings. The primary menu bar is your uh, basically the the bar that displays your primary menu as opposed to your 
a secondary menu bar which would be displayed above this primary bar if you have it enabled and I'll get to that in a second but right now what you see up here is your primary menu bar if you wanted to click on there and you can make uh, some style uh, changes to your menu bar for instance I can make it full width you can see that the logo now goes all the way to the left to the full extent of the browser and also the right aligned navigation menu does as well goes full um, all the way to the right side I could hide the logo image if I wanted to um, helpful maybe if you have the logo displayed in your header or something like that um, these settings here will allow you to adjust the the width of your um, primary menu bar for instance I could change the the menu height uh, if I need more spacing uh, the logo max height if I want a bigger logo or a smaller one I can change it here um, you can see my logo shrinking in size um, and also the text size of my menu items I can increase that if I wanted to increase the letter spacing change the font um, we have a nice selection of fonts available all right um, make it bold italic if I needed to I could also change the colors uh, the text color that is I, mean, I want a purple to match my site uh, the active link color that would be uh, whatever page you're visiting let's say if I was on the about page uh, the the color that this menu item uh, would be can be changed here the active link um, the background color um, we can change that if we wanted to uh, the drop down menu this is your drop down menu here style if I wanted to change the background to you know maybe a darker version I could do that and uh, there's a line here a drop down menu line you can tell right now it's blue let me go ahead and change the default there it's this little blue line you can change the color there uh, and then the menu text color of the drop down and way at the bottom here you can see that there's this drop down menu animation which is a cool effect some people a lot of people don't even know about it because it's kind of hidden down there but if you look you can have the ability to change the animation style from fade to expand slide flip just to give you an idea of what that is I'm gonna uh, right now it's set to fade so when I hover over my menu item the sub nav kind of fades in I could change it to um, expand for example now it kind of expands downward uh, slide it slides in from the left to the right and the flip effect so there's your primary menu bar options let's go back one level and let's go to our secondary menu bar where you have many of the same settings that I won't go over right now but you can change your text size spacing fonts all that stuff the colors but we can't even see it yet because we haven't deployed our header elements so let's go back and let's go down to this bottom section here called header elements and this um, if I go ahead and add a phone number to here and let's add a email as well I'll just put something like email at website .com. all right and let's go ahead and um, save this and I'm gonna refresh so that can take effect and I should see a secondary menu pop up there and there it is I'll go back to my header and navigation settings go back to header elements and you can see that up here this 
blue uh, smaller uh, top bar there is my secondary menu bar. I could uh, choose to show social icons up there if I wanted to, if I have those selected. Uh, I could also choose to show a search icon up there. But right now I actually don't have a menu set up there, but if I did, it would also be displayed um, in my secondary menu. All right, so let's go back to our secondary menu bar and let's, um, you know, just to show you here, if I wanted to change the background color to match, I can change it to a purple and there you go. My secondary menu color has changed. Let's go back to our settings and let's go over our last uh, set of options here. And this is for our fixed navigation settings. The fixed navigation is the state of your menu whenever you scroll down the page. Uh, by default, it'll kind of shrink up a little bit and to give you more room for your viewport. And you can change the style of what that looks like um, by editing these settings here. Uh, for instance, you may want to hide the logo just for your fixed uh, menu. If I scroll all the way to the top, it, it will appear again, but when I scroll down, it will disappear. Um, I could change the, maybe I want a smaller text size for my um, navigation, excuse me, fixed navigation. I could do that. And maybe I want a uh, much smaller um, height to, you know, increase the amount of view space that I have. So I could customize the fixed navigation settings there. So, well, there you go. There's an overview of your header and navigation settings within the theme customizer.